You likely know that DJI released two new gimbals, the Osmo Mobile 7 and the 7 Pro. At the same time, they released MIMO 2.2 to support the new gimbals. What you may not know is all of the new ActiveTrack 7.0 improvements built into the new MIMO actually work on the old Osmo Mobile 6 gimbals that many of us purchased over the last couple of years. Just to be clear, the new multifunction module is not compatible with Mobile 6 gimbals, so you do not get those features. So what I thought I'd do in this video is review the new MIMO software to help you decide whether to hang on to your old OM6 or upgrade to the latest model. For the record, my evaluation was done with my iPhone 14 Pro running iOS 18.3.2 and MIMO 2.2 using my Osmo Mobile 6 running firmware v01.06.02.10. All my gear was paid for out of my own pocket. Nothing was provided by DJI. First, let's look at tracking quality. DJI claims they have smoother tracking, meaning they don't lose the subject as the view of them changes, and more stable capture, meaning they reacquire the subject quickly if the view is blocked. To test this out, I used the same location that I used for my ActiveTrack 6.0 review, but I added some new moves to stress the subject tracking. Specifically, I merged from behind the pillar facing in different directions, including my back to the camera, forcing the recognition algorithm to reacquire me from a different side of my head. This worked spectacularly well, without a single instance where it lost me. I ran this test at a time where the lighting would be variable on my face, a factor that caused problems with 6.0, but I saw no hiccups with 7.0. Bottom line, thumbs up on smooth tracking. Now let's have a look at zoom tracking. I settled on using this fountain because I could easily orbit around it and it contrasted nicely with the background. Zooming out to a wide angle shot works quite well, even though MIMO had to switch cameras to do this. Zooming in works okay up to about 2x, then the object being tracked becomes the same size as the frame, and active track gets hopelessly confused. I repeated the test letting MIMO choose the subject with the same results. It was able to reacquire after I stopped moving, but lost the subject as soon as I moved. So I give it a C grade on this feature, since it only works in half the scenarios. I did not retest the composition capability, as I thought that worked just fine in 6.0, and the double L gesture only works with the optional multifunction module. To test the most important new feature, Smart Capture, I enlisted Becky and Carla as hiking subjects, which is a real-world use case for my use of the gimbal. When they started out from a distance, only the leader was captured. When I started them out closer, both were captured and I selected Becky as the subject. While we were hiking along the trail, she was periodically blocked from view but was quickly reacquired as the back of her head regained visibility. At this point, I switched the subject to Carla, as evidenced by the bright white box. It tracked her perfectly, but the tracking box for Becky disappeared. I tried another more distant test while they were doing a photo shoot. I was able to capture the main subject at the center, but Becky was never captured so there are limits to how far away you can capture multiple subjects. Next I tried the same scene, but I zoomed in 3.5 times and was unable to capture a subject. I repeated the test 
at 1.8x with equally poor results, even though they got pretty close to the camera. So what does this all mean? Just considering tracking, there is no reason to upgrade from the OM6 to the 7. DJI did not improve the tilt range capability in the Mobile 7, which is this gimbal's biggest weakness, so there are no consequential mechanical improvements. The 7 Pro is of course another issue. If you need tracking with apps other than MIMO, such as the Apple or Blackmagic camera app, then by all means buy the 7 Pro. I do recommend that all OM6 owners upgrade to MIMO 2.2.2. Not only do you get all the tracking upgrades, but DJI has finally fixed their stabilization problems with 4K 60p. This is one of the real positives for the DJI product line. They have continually improved the MIMO app, bringing a lot of improvements to their legacy gimbals. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please click like or subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.